That right there is my German Shepherd Lobo. And right there is a mostly uh, thought out uh, set of beef ribs, four to be exact. And this is a mukbang video. Come here, buddy. Been a little while since I've had any beef ribs. Figure I'd just leave them all in one piece for this video instead of cutting them up. Feed my dogs what's called the BARF diet. BARF is an acronym for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. It was a uh, diet created by veterinarian uh, Ian Billinghurst. Wrote a couple good books on the topic. Give your dog a bone and grow your pups with bones. I'll provide links to those on Amazon in the uh, description of this video if you're interested. I'll also uh, provide a couple other good links uh, to some online resources if you're interested in learning more about feeding your dogs raw. I highly recommend the diet but uh, I'm admittedly uh, not a canine nutritionist and uh, I always recommend you do your research. He's like, but Dad, you, you didn't cut them apart for me this time. <laughs> Lobo's a long-coated German Shepherd. Turns three here at the end of May, May 29th to be exact. He's down out of some good working lines. People will ask, I thought it was bad for dogs to have bones. It's only cooked bones. You should never give your dog cooked bones. Even those big uh, smoked bones they sell at the pet store, they're bad news for your dogs. Uh, cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone. It makes it indigestible to the dog. Prone to fracturing into sharp pieces and causing uh, bowel obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Dogs are made to process cooked uh, raw bones. They've been doing it for millions of years. Beautiful spring morning here in Minnesota. Feed my dogs a variety of different meats, poultry, which includes uh, turkey, uh, chicken, occasionally quail. Feed them a lot of fish. 
They also get uh, beef from time to time, uh, venison during hunting season. I've got some friends who uh, are hunters and uh, they give me the pieces of their deer that they would normally throw away for my dogs. As I've mentioned in other videos, feeding a raw diet can help uh, protect your dogs against uh, bloat, also known as gastric torsion. It's one of the second leading causes of death in dogs. A uh, modern kibble diet helps contribute to that. It takes very little effort for your dog's uh, g track to uh, break down and uh, digest and move that kibble through. And as a result, the muscles all through there become kind of lax. They don't get exercised well. Feeding a raw diet helps uh, exercise and condition those muscles and uh, helps make them less prone to getting things like uh, gastric torsion. This is more just kind of a treat for him. I usually give him something like this in the morning and then their main meal will consist of uh, some ground meat uh, mixed up with some uh, usually some chicken livers or something like that, some type of organ meat and then I'll uh, throw some vegetables and various other things into a food processor and mix it all together. Feeding raw and chewing bones like this is also very good for their jaw. Keeps their, clean, their teeth really clean. Keeps them from developing uh, tartar deposits. You know, one of the keys to good health is good oral health. That goes for people too. Now the kennel I have here, as I mentioned in all my videos, because otherwise I'll get a comment in the comment section, is uh, used merely to separate my dogs when they're feeding, especially when feeding raw. Otherwise they uh, will compete for food and try to eat too fast. It allows them to take their time. My dogs live in the house. They don't live outside. They hike uh, several miles each morning with me through the Mississippi River Valley. My channel is a vlog of our wilderness hikes. You can take a look at that down below if you want. And the doghouse is just required by uh, state statute 343.40. Again, these guys live in the house. They get lots of exercise. I always feel like I have to throw that in the videos now because otherwise I end up having to type it out in the comments section to someone. There's always someone. <laughs>
get a good look for what Lobo looks like in some of these uh, mukbang videos. Uh, in all my hiking videos, he's usually wet and covered with sand and mud. <laughs> Moving fast, so it's hard to get a good view of him, but you can, you can get a good look at him here. He's in very good condition. He's got a nice structure. I don't know, I love him. He's a great dog. Got him from my friend Amy. I gave uh, her some bulldog puppies in the past, and uh, she gave me Lobo and Gergen in return. Well, this video is starting to run out a bit. I'm not going to film how long it's going to take him to eat all three, but you can see he uh, removed and polished off one of those ribs in about 10 minutes and is working on the other three. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all, folks. Bye.